Salute to Knicks Nation, CP the Franchise here. You know, a lot of you guys DM me and, and let me know how much Knicks Fan TV means to you, how much it's gotten you through a tough time, especially during the pandemic. Some of you even DM me and said that you, you were depressed, you were going through a lot of anxiety, and the show really helped you get through a, a tough spot in your life. And so regardless of if, if you've been clinically diagnosed with depression or anxiety, or you're just somebody who's just looking to get your life back on the right track, therapy can really give you the tools to approach your life in a different way and that's why i'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor better help better help's mission is to make therapy more accessible and more affordable and that's very important because in today's day and age it's very difficult to find a therapy that you like in your area BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online. It's remote, and by filling out a simple questionnaire and a couple of questions, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist in as little as a few days. It's easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. Try it out using the link below. That's betterhelp.com slash KnicksFanTV, and they will give you $10 off your first month. And because finding a therapist is a little bit like dating, sometimes it can be hard, and sometimes you pick one that you don't like. Have no fear because because with BetterHelp, you can switch and find the therapist that works best for you without stressing about insurance or who's in your network or anything like that. And as I said before, it doesn't mean that you've got something wrong with you. It just means that you could be looking to get your life back on track. I've taken therapy before and it's helped me in droves in terms of getting my life in order and, and getting back on the right track. So I highly recommend it. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in the video description or just go to betterhelp.com slash KnicksFanTV for $10 off your first month. Come on, man. Come on. At some point, the lies have got to stop. The lies have got to stop. I've sat back year after year after year listening to lies, questioning me as a man and my integrity what I stand for, what, what I was raised on, has been questioned. I sat back and didn't say anything. My guy, the coach, the legend, Coach Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, has a great quote that I listened to just recently. He said he lost the address to the high road. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting closer because there's a side of me that's fed up, that's upset that you keep on smearing my name. Today, a report came out that I was fired or dismissed from calling Nick games. Honored and bestowed, honored and privileged to have an offer bestowed upon me to back up the legend, Walt Clyde Frazier, calling Nick games. Over a week ago, I turned that job down. You heard what I said. More than a week ago, I turned the job down due to the fact that it wasn't the ideal conditions and it wasn't the ideal time for me. You never know what the future holds. They say once a Nick, always a Nick. Mm. I bleed it. a side of me, blue and orange. I dreamt of playing for the Knicks. I dreamt of calling games for the Knicks. And it would have been a dream accomplished, but it just didn't work out. I give the reporter credit. Four guys, four calls yesterday from reporters trying to get a quote from me. I did not respond because I don't play that game. I let it alone, thinking that it'll die and nobody will know what happened. But over a week ago, I turned the job down. Forever grateful, and again, you never know what the future holds. But I want to thank you. Blessings. All right, that was Action Jackson, man. A very unfortunate situation, man. I was very much looking forward to seeing him back. Uh, just an unfortunate situation. I The, the one thing I'll say is just... Uh, the the rumor or the announcement that he was coming back and coming to MSG, that was made in the off season. That was damn near like August September when that announcement came out. Right. So what happened in between now and then? Did he look at the contract and say, "Look, they're trying to handcuff me here"? The, 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 you know, Andrew Marchand in the Post reported that it was due to the fallout between Mark Jackson and Darren Erman, who's the assistant coach on the Tibbs staff who was an assistant coach under the Jackson regime in Golden State, who was fired for videotaping and recording the coaching staff because mm -hmm. he felt like Jackson had an ax to grind with him. All type of toxic stuff going, going on in Golden State. My whole point is, 
you knew who he was here. They knew who they were trying to hire. They had to have known the issue between them. So how did it just get to this point where things just fell apart? You know what I mean? And, and then on top of that, Andrew Marshall saying, well, he's banned from the team plane. Well, why is he banned right. from the team plane if he made the decision man long ago? What's the point of banning him from the team plane? I don't know. So this sounds kind of crazy, bro. Is this is this an MSG spin to save face to say, hey, we thought Mark Jackson was coming back and now things didn't work out and you know, this is just to cover our tails to make it seem like we're in the right over here and that we didn't want from Mark Jackson's end to have any uh, you know, employer relations issues over at MSG, or is this like is that what they're trying to do, or is there actually something that's going on over there that Mark Jackson's just trying to sweep under the rug? Or like, and the the thing is, like, for Mark Jackson, like, is he actually being honest about this? Is he saying, "Hey, I turned this down a week ago"? Like, I don't think he turned it down a week ago. I think he walked away from it. Like, saying that you turned it down means like you never accepted this thing in weird, the get go. And weird. to say that you turned it down, like, there was an announcement saying you are going to MSG, so you have had to accept in order for them to make that announcement. Right. Not, no one's just making announcements that's saying, "Hey, we're in talks, by the way, right. to have Mark Jackson come through." That was a done here. deal months ago. Yeah, exactly. So. He had, I don't, I don't know if it's just a miss, uh, a miss. Uh, he misspoke in the words that he wanted to use, but to say that you turned it down, if you're saying it that you turned it down, I don't believe you. If you are actually saying that you turned it, down, I don't believe you. Walking away is one thing. Saying I didn't want to do this, I'm getting out of this. I, I did. I it, like, and he could have said, hey, initially I wanted to take this job. We had some negotiations. Didn't go my way. I want to walk away from this opportunity because. It wasn't going to be in my favor or we didn't see eye to eye on some things could have said that, but to just say that you turned down the job a week ago. Oh man. Mm. I don't know. I have no, I, I don't know. We got to put on the tinfoil hats and come up with some great conspiracy theories over here. Conditions, conditions. I, I had to throw on the tinfoil hat. I don't understand what's going on, man. I don't know, but we wish him well. And for the Jackson hive, you know, hey, they, they've been waiting. They've been waiting a long time for this opportunity, and it just won't come about. I'll tell you this. If it's not going to be Mark Jackson, you know who they should, you know who's on the mic now yeah. that they should consider having? Yeah. yeah. Jamal Crawford. Great one. Great one. Absolutely. I get JC in there. No question. No question about it. He'd be, he'd be one of my early picks. It's a good one. It's a good one by you, man. Great job. Great job. <laughs>